And great, Scott, what do we have here? A geiger Mueller counter tube reading out in microsieverts per hour. This is an intelligent GQ nuclear radiation meter. And if I took it apart, you would see the inside, but I'll show you the sticker on the back. If I glint this around just right, you see that glass tube reflecting around in there? That's the actual tube. That is an AM241 radioactive source from an ionization type smoke alarm. And you can see the little button inside that aluminum crimped holder. That contains the americium 241 dioxide smashed together with silver and gold and possibly palladium given the lack of warm color. And here is my Geiger counter. Now we can see the background radiation, not that bad, but if we place the tube of the unit directly on top of that source, we're going to see that the activity level here is going to spontaneously escalate on the detector. And once it gets to this dangerous level, it's going to start beeping to warn us. I'm gonna back up here. There's a concept in radiation called time and dose. You don't really wanna hang out next to these things, um, the emitter for that, for that uh, matter. I have a special lead container here that's um, PETG with a lead liner to store it. Um, we can see here that it, it'll actually climb all the way up to two microsieverts per hour, which is actually quite a bit. Um, it's the um, only radioactive isotope product ever allowed to be sold to the general public was an ionization type uh, smoke alarm detector. And this is from that button assembly was extracted uh, from a smoke alarm. As you can tell, the way it's mounted here, it was quite difficult to remove too, I might add. And we can see um, As long as we park the emitter such that it's directly hitting the uh, Geiger-Muller tube in there. What it's doing is the, um, the Geiger-Muller tube operates at hundreds of volts, I think around 600 volts DC. So there's a little high voltage circuit in there that takes power from a 3.6 volt um, lithium iron phosphate AA and um, powers the circuitry and, and all of the electronics here. And then, um, the ionizing particles striking the tube um, produce a difference in electrical activity that is converted by the meter into counts per minute or CPM or several other units. I have it in microsieverts because I was watching a YouTube documentary about the Fukushima, Fukushima Daiichi nuclear reactor disaster, and they were using those units, the SI unit uh, microsieverts, uh, to describe the exposure levels of radiation that people working to fix the, the meltdown. See, we're already over uh, two microsieverts per hour and it's still climbing. So I think it, um, it, it centers around this. Radiation and radioactive decay is kind of random. So the number will go up and down and there's noise in electrical noise and stuff in the tube and unit itself. Um, that you can even see when there's no source next to it. It, it drifts around.